Hey everyone, it's Jordan again. So you guys and gals are probably wondering what's next uh, once you install the homebrew channel. Um, basically, we would uh, just boot up our Wii again with the the uh, SD card in there. It'll take you to the boot me screen. Uh, here, you can only use the power button and the reset button, so that'll act as your start select. You can't use the Wii mode. If you do try to use the Wii mode in this screen, it'll just blink, so you can't do anything. So this is select, and this is start. So power select. So let's select homebrew channel or SD card or additional options. Here in additional options, the last one on the end, on the right. If we push the reset button, that will take us there. So this allows us to back up our Wii to the SD card. This option would take our backup and put it on the Wii. So we would essentially restore our Wii. And here we should, this basically just gives us info about the, this menu. And this is our back button. So I'm not going to do any of these right now. It's a good idea to do this one. Uh, first, just so you have a backup, just in case anything goes wrong. If anything goes wrong, then you would... Uh, use this option so okay so let's go let's let's just push uh, we're gonna select uh, until we get to the back arrow and we'll basically just exit this for now uh, so we'll just push reset and go to the Wii what we'll do next now while that's booting up we'll put our SD card in the computer All right, and then we'll uh, we'll go to this page. It's one of them, one of my favorite pages uh, when I used to do all this stuff. Uh, we sixty four dot webs dot com uh, whg whiskey hotel golf. So we'll go here. Uh, in this page, it basically uh, is a guide for installing the homebrew channel, and it has a bunch of other guides. But it allows you to pick uh, correctly pick which exploit you need. In our case, we use Letterbomb. So let's just go there. Uh, all this should look familiar. So we basically done all this right down, and we done the next page. The Hack Me Installer. We done all that. So basically, this should take us to the Homebrew channel so, and download it, and we'll place it in the Apps folder. So it'll be apps and then homebrew browser. So if we go here, the link should be here. Here's the homebrew browser. And here's a list of all the applications, but we'll just go homebrew browser for now. And on this page, when it opens, it'll be webrew.org slash wiki slash homebrew underscore browser. Then we'll basically just come over to the far right and download. Once that downloads, we'll extract it. That'll extract. I'll just back up a bit. We'll click on that. We'll basically take this folder, the, the homebrew browser folder. We'll copy that to our apps folder on our SD card. So I already have an apps folder, and then I would paste it here, just the homebrew browser. So now I would take the SD card out and put it back in the Wii. And then launch the homebrew channel. All right, so we successfully have the homebrew browser, uh, just like that. So the homebrew browser uh, basically allows you to download any of the, uh, the latest homebrew applications and games all through your Wii. So let's launch this for the first time. And I'll go load. So 
So we're running version 3.9e. I believe that's the same one that we had before. Uh, when I did this back two years ago, maybe three years ago I did this. Just getting a list of all the uh, applications, various games. So it could actually skip this step, but uh, it recommends me not to, so I'm just going to sit here and wait. And uh, while that's waiting, I'll uh, just explain to you uh, or give you a list, a place to go for uh, your most popular applications. So back on the uh, webrew.org wiki page, uh, just above the table of contents, you'll have the popular applications. So here you can see uh, you have Super Nintendo emulator. This is uh, this allows you to play DVDs and so forth. I forget what the FCE and and the, I guess this is a Game Boy Advance. Don't know if this is a good thing or bad thing. Doesn't look good. When all else fails, let's reload it. Just push the reset button. It's the worst that can happen. Alright, so looks like the reset uh, sorted it out. So here we can see the demos, emulators, games, media, and utilities. I'll just look for emulators. It's a bit slow. Alright, so here we have a bunch of different emulators. Oh, this is one of the more popular ones. I believe I used this one a long time ago. Sega Genesis emulator, RetroArch. Uh, that's what I'm running on my Raspberry Pi as well. Uh, you got a whole bunch here. Yeah, basically I I would have to go through these and see which ones my niece wants. I'll try to give one a one a try, maybe the Super Nintendo quickly. Because I have some ROMs for that I could put on there. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. Push the home button and return to the loader. And ta-da! Here you also have Super Nintendo emulator. Load that. Not very good with this Wii remote. And basically, if I had any ROMs, it would show up here. So I can quickly transfer some ROMs. So I have a bunch of my laptop. Proof of the Wii. And here, ROMs. This is where I would pay some ROMs. Conveniently, I got some here on the top.
Let's select this one. Copy, paste that here. Put it back in the Wii. Let's do a quick exit here on the Wii. There you go. That's it. So yeah, I'll probably have some more videos next week or the week after, but uh, for now, that's it. You know, thanks for watching, and uh, any questions, just post them in the uh, Facebook group and or under the video comments, and I'll get back to you. Thanks.